Hey, good morning, boys and girls. I got a something I thought you might, well, especially your chainsaw heads might be interested in. Um, sorry, I got a little boogies here. Um, it's chilly out this morning. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. Just beautiful weather. A few showers yesterday, but it cleared off. Um, what I got going on here, uh, we blew the tip out of the big husky dog the other day, cutting that big massive tree. And, uh, so we put a new tip in it, and uh, I put a new tip, well Clyde put a new tip in it, and you can see the new tip. But yeah, so this bar isn't very old, but I don't know what we hit, whatever, we split it and the chain went into it. And, you know, you don't notice it at first, you keep hitting the throttle, you know, and then it's like, alright, we got issues. But what happens, and a lot of you guys who run chainsaws you probably know, I know loggers know these tricks, but just for the average wood chopper, I thought you might like to see this little trick. Uh, what happens is when your chain either derails or you got a bad, uh, a bad nose, you know, or whatever, sometimes if you just throw the chain, it'll put burrs on your drives. So what happens, we threw this back together, and if you can see this right here, See that hot spot right there on the bar? Let's put it up here. I'm holding this camera, so I don't know how much luck I'm gonna have doing this, but I'll try. I'll try and prop it up here so you can see it. As you can see right here, right here, it's like blue right there. Well, what was happening, it was, it's, you had burrs on the bar, on the chain rather, on the drives. It makes little burrs on them, and it binds, and it heats up, and it, it's not good for the rails because it weakens the rails. But so what I've been doing here is, uh, if you can see, let me see if I can point this out here. Right here on the drive links, you'll see these little burrs where it was jumping, and it makes a little, uh, it makes a little uh, bump or burr on the tooth, and it don't sit down in the chain right, uh, then in the bar guide right. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the grinder the uh, milli grinder here and just grinding those burrs off I don't think I can do it hold the camera while you're watching but I'll show you what it looks like like right here you can see on this one see the shiny spots just taking that little burr off of there and what it'll do it'll go back down on the guide bar properly and uh, you know stop it from binding and heating so I'll, uh, I'll get this done and uh, I'm going to make a uh, video bucking this big fat log up over here. And, uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit, but I thought, you know, if you, if you guys, like, I know it's firewood season, so I thought, oh, maybe this will help someone out, you know? Uh, if, you, if you happen to do that, if you threw a chain or if your nose rocket goes out on a, on a saw, you know, and, and you go to put it back together and you get this... It, it, it's like your chain isn't working properly. It's, it's usually what it is. It's, look on the drives. If it's got burrs on it, you need to get rid of them. I find the best way to do it is just with a grinder. You can do it with a file, but it takes forever and it's real tedious. You just take a grinder, just lightly touch it. You don't want to, dry, uh, you don't want to grind a lot away because you'll get the things so that you know, won't sit in the rail properly. You know, it'll lay over either way. So you don't want to do that. But if you just grind that burr off, and uh, they will wear off, but they're hard on a bar because they, the, they heat the rails up like this. And then you get a kind of a weak spot in your rail and it'll start, it'll start delaminating on you, you know. And it'll spread and it'll cut right. So it's worth taking a few minutes. Just, uh, if you got a bench grinder or electric grinder or whatever, it'll work, any kind of grinder will work. A little burning tool. Just watch you don't get your fingers. Wear some gloves. You know, Grinder burns hurt on your finners, I know. All right, I'll get back in all guys. Ta-ta, have a wonderful morning. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Winter is coming, unfortunately. <laughs>